in Essex County, they're trying to make drinking water safe for one community. Federal funding is helping Bloomfield replace aging lead water lines. News 12 New Jersey's Darlene Melendez is there with more on how this is possible. Darlene? funding from the American Rescue Plan. Actually, those funds being put to use right here behind me in Bloomfield as they replace those aging water lines. Now, this was announced today earlier uh, this morning when Bloomfield though, was affected back in 2019 with high lead level in its drinking water coming from the Newark water system. Now the township will be able to utilize funding to replace all lead service lines in Bloomfield within five years. One of the lawmakers spearheading this is Senator Bob Menendez. Replacing lead water lines is a matter of public health, of environmental safety, of racial and economic justice. And this challenge is not Bloomfield or, Belfield or Bellevue or Newark's alone. New Jersey is home to some of the oldest towns and cities in America, and many face the same challenges posed by leading aging, aging uh, lead water lines and outdated sewer treatment plants. They too should consider using their rescue funds to invest in safe and clean drinking water and other projects that improve public health and safety. Homeowners won't have to pay for the pipe replacements. It'll all be taken care of by this flexible funding. We spoke with one homeowner who moved here almost two years ago around the time the, the town was first affected by the lead issue. It's important for every community. We all need clean water everywhere, um, and not just in better off neighborhoods, but in all sorts of neighborhoods. I'm just glad that there's money to replace lead lines, not only in our neighborhood here, but also in neighborhoods that really need it, disadvantaged neighborhoods, neighborhoods with a lot of people of color, uh, like Newark and like Flint, where this really is a life and death situation for a lot of families. Now, other parts of that American Rescue Plan funding will be utilized here in Bloomfield uh, with other infrastructure getting funding, also vaccinations and first responders use, uh, using those funds for staffing. Now, Bloomfield does hope that it can act as a model for other cities in New Jersey and throughout the nation to utilize some of that flexible funding uh, to continue to work on public health issues like replacing old water lines. We're in Bloomfield today. Darlene Melendez, News 12, New Jersey.